You have Ruth, who uh, is a Moabitess, and, and, and she is a foreigner to the people of Israel. She has no status, no privilege within Israel, and yet she works hard and she makes the most of her opportunity to take care of a mother-in-law that she technically has no obligations for. You have somebody like Tamar who manages to take all the abuse she has suffered and all the neglect she has suffered and she figures out this really strange and in some ways offensive way to be righteous. You have Rahab who is the woman who would be the ultimate outcast. Somebody that Joshua and his army was actually told to kill and slaughter and leave no one alive, and yet she makes the single greatest confession of faith in the entire book of Joshua. The women in the genealogy of Jesus, they are stories of hope and redemption. They are stories that acknowledge the fullness of our pain and grief, and yet, show the ultimate redemptive purposes of God. And it is my hope that in those stories, that generations later, after my mom's pain is forgotten and long over, it is my hope that her story will find redemption, that Christ will reveal himself as the one who brings together all of our pain and all of our stories and weaves them into this tapestry of love that he then heals. I wrote this book for that reason, and it is my hope that the people who read this book would be able to see that same tapestry of love and that same story of redemption lived out of their lives, no matter how dark things seem right now.